Hello everybody, we are at Elephant Butte State Park in New Mexico and I spent a couple days here and I was in the Desert Cove campground. I had a nice site. I had a covered table and a fire pit and also I had electric and water here. I had a beautiful view of the desert and the lake. This is where some trails start and <laughs> It's strange because they started around the restroom. And this is a view outside of my van windows in the back. And this was my backyard for the couple days. And it had some great plants that I've never seen before. The, it was very sandy. And you kind of drag walking through it. It's so sandy. And you will get stuck. But the beaches were beautiful. Um, there wasn't a lot of people out here. It's the end of April but the water was really nice. It felt so good. The thing is, is up close, so much sand is kicked up on the edge of the beach that the water is kind of clouded, but you can see going out in it, it's beautiful, it's, it's clear, it's, you know, it's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful lake and everyone should see it. Let me tell you a little bit about Elephant Butte Lake State Park. It was established in 1964 in New Elephant Butte, New Mexico. It's located about seven miles north of Truth or Consequences. The state park itself is like 40,000 acres, and the lake itself is like 24,500 acres. But Elephant Butte Lake is New Mexico's largest body of water. It's got miles of trails, sandy beaches, great views along its 43-mile length. The history of the area is over a million years ago. The area was part of a vast, shallow ocean. Once the sea receded, the area was a favorite hunting ground of the Tyrannosaurus rex dinosaur. The evidence of the Tyrannosaurus rex is the largest land-dwelling predator of all time. Other species of dinosaurs have been discovered in area rock formations. I was driving around the marina and I happened to catch this sand sculpture at, at Elephant Butte Lake that is an elephant and it's young in front of a sand castle. And I mean, it was just amazing. And I, I heard there was another one up there by the gate. I never saw it. So I don't know if it was already demolished, but isn't this incredible? Good morning, good morning, everybody. I am packed up and leaving Elephant Butte State Park in New Mexico. I have been here for two days and it's been great. Enjoyed the lake, had some fun, took some great pictures of this beautiful place. I'm in, actually it's like right outside Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. My plans have changed. I was heading up to Santa Fe and I was going to spend a few days. There's a spa up there. I'm going to have to catch that and my Colorado trip on my way up to um, Oregon in August. So come to find out, thank God I shared my travel plans with Bunny, Bunny from Bunny Plays Here. And she texted me last night. And she's like giving me heads up that um, if I'm heading up that way, it's on fire. <laughs> it's being scorched. <laughs> like um, there's a mandatory evacuation in some spots and stuff. And like Santa Fe was on fire, I guess, around it and all that. And 
And so I didn't want a part of that. I thank God she texted me last night because I was gonna head up there this morning without even knowing and I could have caught, been caught up in a mess. So I'm gonna head over to East. Um, I'm heading over to Oklahoma City and um, I'm gonna be in Oklahoma for a few days because my daughter and my um, three little Z-Pack grandsons are there. So I'm gonna see them. And then I'm gonna head, I think, to home base. I gotta unload a bunch of stuff off out of this van. You know, <clears throat> I really thought I was gonna need half this stuff and I rationalized bringing it all. And now I'm, I'm like, I, I haven't touched it. I didn't even know it was there. Um, it's just in my way. So as a newbie, you know, it's just like, as a newbie, we, we, we learn, right? We just learn. So anyway, those are my plans today. I'm gonna head out of here and um, head east to Eastern New Mexico. And that's okay if your plans change. That's what's great about being out here is your chance, your plans can just change and it's okay because I mean, you're in your home. So no matter where you go, you know, you got your house. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you later. Hey everybody, I am still trotting west or I'm sorry, east. And I'm in Texas now. Actually, I've just gone through Amarillo. And I had to stop at Starbucks to get me a little bump up because it's 5 o'clock and I still got about maybe four and a half more hours. I want to drive through the whole day to get to my daughter's tonight so, so I can spend the night with my grandkids. Oh, you're going to fall. Ah, okay. So I could spend the night with my grandkids an extra night and they'll probably be asleep when I get there, but I can get up and have breakfast with them before they go to school or catch the bus, take them to the bus, all that nanny stuff, you know, but the drive's been pretty easy. Uh-oh, you're falling. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're going to fall. But, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry I keep messing with it, but it keeps going. Anyway, so my van's a mess. Traffic's okay. I got my Starbucks. And I also stopped and got me a tea. Wake me up. I'm having to start drinking unsweet tea because I, I can't have sugar anymore. So, that sucks.